Trump minute epic. This was much darker than I gave it credit for being. Unfortunately, it it's, uh, was kind of near the, the limb, near the edge of the earth from our view, so several hundred miles away. Uh, but uh, it still was uh, impressive uh, to be able to see that dark spot as we passed by. twilight you hear everyone going crazy here um, you should be able to start seeing stars and we can actually see four planets um, this time you should see Jupiter Mercury Mars and Venus all in this night sky during the day so it's just an amazing amazing experience and if you can't see the corona I do have a map of it here this is a 3d print that was done for me and it looks exactly it's a predict of what the corona looks like today so if it's cloudy here's your corona now it looks like the moment of totality is upon us. Let's just take the, the, let the guys at home have a few moments to take in the sights and sounds of the crowd as totality happens on the prairie. Oh, wow. And you can see the corona, and I may cry, but you can see the corona. Um, so now you're seeing this wonderful hazy atmosphere. I don't need my glasses now, Vince, because we are in totality. Wow. And so this is the only time that it's safe to look. But right now you can see that hazy ring. Um, that is the chromosphere. It is looking a little bit sort of reddish. Um, yeah. And you just see there's all that those red wisps are little prominences that are coming away from the sun. Wow. another way water can get into the air. The water on the doghouse roof dried pretty fast in the warm sun. This water disappears faster because the stove is hotter. This change from water we can see to water vapor we can't see is called evaporation. The cloud from the spot of the tea kettle is condensation of the water vapor from the tea kettle hitting the colder air. The hot water in the kettle gives off water vapor to the air by rapid evaporation. 
just as rivers, lakes, and ponds give off water vapor to the air by slow evaporation. As the hot water-filled air hits the colder air near the ice tray, the water vapor turns into clouds of tiny water droplets floating in the air. Condensation. When the air is quite cold and cannot hold any more water droplets, they collect together to form larger drops, as on the ice tray. And being too heavy to float in the air, they fall back to the earth as rain. Without water in the air, we couldn't live. Our fields would be dry and nothing would grow. The hot water in the kettle gives off water vapor to the air by rapid evaporation, just as rivers, lakes, and ponds give off water vapor to the air by slow evaporation. The hot water in the kettle gives off water vapor to the air by rapid evaporation, just as rivers, lakes, and ponds give off water vapor to the air by slow evaporation. The hot water in the kettle gives off water vapor to the air by rapid evaporation just as rivers, lakes, and ponds give off water vapor to the air by slow evaporation. You know, we've got some clouds right now that are sort of slightly obscuring it, but when you put the glasses on, and I know we're looking at our special lens with the solar, wait a second, oh my God, look at this, is that a cloud? Is that a cloud? That might be a cloud that's been, listen to the booing. Oh, they're booing. We're so close to getting that moment of totality. Look how dark it is there. We'll have two minutes, yeah, exactly. Then we'll have two minutes and 38 seconds. It is so weird. While in Charleston Harbor, thunder and lightning at the moment of totality.
you ever wonder where the rain comes from, here it is. This is Lamar County, some kind of power plant. They're using wet surface air coolers and they're generating clouds like you would not believe. I've just been sitting here on a bike ride getting all wet and it's these guys right here that are making the weather combined with whatever other goddamn crap they're using. Talk about fucked up. Look at this stuff. Goddamn fucking cloud machines. This is where the rain comes from, people. Open your goddamn eyes.